I was going to show you basically how I go from and I've never done this I've never used open broadcaster software before on YouTube I've used it to record with and edit and then make videos for YouTube but never live stream straight from open broadcaster so this is a test and uh, so I wonder how I'm going to see the super chat though how would I see the super chat the live chat how would I enable that okay so I'll just have to go back and forth I guess so what if you if you don't notice me answering questions, it's because I have to. Well, I'll tell you what I can do. I can do this. Aha! I'm getting I'm getting smart in my old age. <laughs> I can just put this over a chair and um, hopefully be able to see the chat that way if somebody something pops up there so uh, to get started I may just I need to make this window as big as I can Is that still showing up yeah okay so what I did was there was a customer that we had or we have that has this little salt box house on Signal Mountain. And right now, all they have are, all they have is this deck out here. Let me see if I can show you. If I were to delete this. And let's say all these posts are just not there. They just have this deck, it's open without a roof on it. So what they wanted to do was they wanted to cover this deck. Well, I showed them this sketch first with the roof over part of it like that because you see the deck, part of it sticks out and we're calling this really a porch because it's on the front of the house. So the porch sticks out further over here than it does over here so it was going to leave this kind of goofy little thing where this stuck out further than the roof but they said oh well that's kind of cool we can just sit in the sun there and we'll have protection from the rain here and I said well you know what if we did this this was the second option what if we you know made the roof go out further over here and you know just cover that part which that's the option I like but they still wanted to have part of the deck open. So if you go over here, you'll see this is the final, not, not necessarily final, but it's what they've kind of set on, uh, set their minds on at the, at the moment. Now, I think you kind of approach the house like this as you're coming up to it. The driveway's kind of lower, so I don't think it's going to look too strange. Uh, it's a little different. It'll take some getting used to, I think. But I wanted to make sure these the door. This is the door right here. Uh, was covered, and these steps, because you know they get a lot. They get they do get some ice and snow on Signal Mountain in the winter, even though we are in, in Chattanooga, uh, <laughs> where we get very little snow. We still get some ice, so I was hoping to provide some protection um, for that. Let's see if I can tell how many people are watching. So we don't have any. Okay, so I'm going to check the chat periodically just to make sure I'm not missing anything. So somebody asked me at one point, well, how do you go from this to, you know, building it? And I said, well, first I detail it 
So, but you know, after the owner looks at this sort of massing sketch, then I gotta, you know, figure out how we're gonna build it. And so what I would do is come in here and say, okay, now I gotta build it. <laughs> so I would probably do this. I would just take, and, and these pieces here are blocks or groups, however you wanna look at it. Some CAD programs would call this a block like AutoCAD, you would call this a block. And in and, and this, in SketchUp, uh, it's considered a group of objects. So I would since that's a group, I would probably start by just um, drawing myself a band on the house where, got a beard hair in my mouth, sorry where that's going to go and, and I would go over here and I would create hello from Columbia hey Nicholas <laughs> that's going to work out good I can see the chat right through that little hole there uh, so here I would just I'm going to create a, a, a roof layer and I'm going to place this group and in SketchUp that's the way you want to draw you don't want your actual geometry necessarily to be in a, in a layer you want it to be in well you want all of your lines to be in layer zero and then you put your groups in layers so you can manage them so I'm gonna go up here uh oh excuse me for one second hey John good how about you uh oh No, I was just checking in because I remember, uh, well, they had called me about the price that they said they had some granite. Oh, yeah. Oh, they can't show it to her. Oh. just trying to I'm just trying to stay in touch with everybody so yeah. I can well, kind of you know um, those, I'm gonna run by I'm gonna try and run by on my way home today the only tile that we don't have and then we will have tiles sitting there for the entire house is for our shower floor so I'm gonna swing by and pick that up today but what we don't have is for the backsplash area in the kitchen and I don't know how much we need. So I guess we need to get in there and decide how high we want it to go up and then let you tell us how much we need. Yeah, right? typically we would go from the top of the backsplash on the on the granite to the underside of the wall cabinet and then whatever whatever little space there was between the range and the and the vent hood. Does that make sense? Usually, between the range you were cutting out, between the range and then that's all I heard. 
Oh, and the vent hood, because usually, yep. uh, usually there's a space, you know, there. Yep. yep. So. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was if you look at the fireplace. I know we need to put some tile down on the floor where the wood floor stops, right between the wood floor and the fireplace. Yeah. But what I don't want to do. And I don't know how to fix it, for lack of a better term, or what, but I don't want any tile around the actual fireplace. Like, I just want it clean around the fireplace. So what do I need to do? What do we need to do to make it look just clean, straight edge? Like, that's where the drywall ends, for lack of a better word. Oh, we can do, we can do something to clean that up, just if you just want it that clean, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Robin and I were talking about, I don't know if you call it stacked or what kind of tile. We were talking about that, and then we started looking at some of the pictures again, and we noticed that every fireplace pretty much just had it on the floor, like how you have it cut out, but then that's it. They don't have it. Yeah. You know, they kind of let that mantel piece stick out and be the really key piece on it's the fireplace. More, yeah, and that's more of a contemporary look. You know, yep, in the exactly. more traditional homes, you'll have like, some sort of tile or stone on the wall, like yep. a slate or something. But yes, yeah, sir. yeah. So anyway, yeah, I want. I don't. I don't think I want any tile around the fireplace. I just want it to look clean. I got point more contemporary. Yeah, I thought maybe that's what was going to end up happening. It's funny. Um, okay. Uh, so I will talk. Hopefully, I'll hear from Robin. Hopefully, she's gotten in touch with Clarence, or will be in touch with him, and we'll know so we can pull the trigger. Because again. I know that's holding everything up. Um, yeah, and, I, and I'm not. I'm not trying to be pushy. I was just. Oh, I know you're not. I'm trying no, to do whatever I can to help keep it going. You know. Well, and that's what I was gonna say. I know you're doing exactly what we've asked you to do, and just kind of help us stay on top of this stuff. So I, I trust me. I knew you weren't doing that. Okay. Um, have you been over to look at the grade? Or I don't even know if you need to. But I just know we talked about it on the. Um, with all the rain and stuff that we've had on the driveway, did you even need to go over there? And yeah, uh, and I, when I, I actually contacted the concrete guy and told him that we needed to meet and go over the um, the grade. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, because um, I, I just I'm afraid what's going to happen is. Um, that you know he's going to go out there and rush it, and then you're not going to be happy with what it turns out to be yeah. the finished product. Yeah. So. I get it. Totally get it. Okay. That's cool. Did he say when he was going to come out or no? Well, this rain has put him off a few days, but sure. I'm, I'm hoping. Um, I'm, I'm hoping he's going to call me on Monday and you know say, hey, I'm ready to. Or if he doesn't, I'm going to call him obviously. Yeah. And, sure. Um, get him out there because I, what I was trying to get him to do was um, actually form it up the day before you know this yep. and, yep. and so you could see it but he didn't like that idea so uh, I'm oh. not, he's not exactly my favorite concrete guy right now to be honest with you <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm, I, I'm using him out of desperation <laughs> I know I so, know and that's kind of the world we get ourselves because my other guy is more expensive but he would have he would have been happy to form it up the day before right you know. All right. Well, if I need to do anything, let me know. I got no problem calling somebody either. Well, help, it's a, you know, just, I, I know you don't. I'm yeah. Just saying this back up. It's up to you. I mean, if you, it's how, however you want to approach it. You know. Okay. All right. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Okay. Um, all right. I will. Uh, hopefully, I'll hear from Robin pretty soon, and we'll we'll just kind of go from there. I'll see what's going on with the countertop deal because I'm I'm ready to go. Okay. All right, buddy. All right, thanks. Thank Bye -bye. Bye. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. It's life as a contractor. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's that rude. John Z says it's rude. I mean, I gotta do what I gotta do, right? I'm not making any money talking on the phone. Uh, I make money by you know doing this kind of stuff. And uh, of course, John, he's our current uh, customer on um, Suck Creek Road. We're building a custom house over there. So, 
Uh, anyway, I got to answer that call. Call. I can't ignore that, obviously. So, um, okay. So I'm back here and put the phone down. So what I would do is after I do this, you know, I would take this actual massing that's here that just to get, because I'm not going to go through all this trouble of detailing this, you know, and then the customer changed their mind, which they do all the time, which is their prerogative. So that's what we do. Life is a contractor, but yeah, <laughs> uh, the story, the saga. But uh, so, uh, but now that the guy said, yeah, I want to do this part of the porch, you know, it's kind of interesting because we're going to have these different heights, the roof here, you can see the beams are different heights and and what that the that is a product of you know as the roof goes back obviously it gets a little higher so this part of the roof right here is going to be higher than you know this beam will need to be higher so we'll have these little half lap joints it should be kind of cool though to you know we'll get to practice some joinery here and uh, one thing I just noticed is that these columns are too tall right here this really needs to go down to there yeah like that and so what I would do is now I would actually start trying to figure out what are my rafters right so I know my beams at the right height and I've already sized this beam it's gonna be a big old honking 6 by 12 just because that's how we roll Amazon available now on Amazon <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, I I'm trying to write a book. It's called The Artisan Philosophy, but I've been trying to write it for three or four years. And what it started out was, uh, am I editing that block or that group? Yeah. It started out as just um, a, a set of best practices. And um, it would have been better if I had done this on this side, I could see. And. Um, but it turned out, there turned out to be a lot of philosophy involved in it. And, uh, let's see here, oops. And so it's turned out to be something a little more uh, involved. And I know any of you that know anything about CAD know I'm doing this kind of the long way around. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out where my bird's mouth is gonna be and sometimes I do this the long way around, I admit it. But this is once I get this one rafter drawn, then I won't have to worry about it. Now I can just take my push pull tool and do that. Voila, I got a bird's mouth. Just like that. Now I can move that rafter over. I can unselect it. Now it's see, now it's just a block or a group. And I can move it over here, but what I need to do first is I'm going to put this band in comments. Customers change their mind all the time. Yep. Um, what I'm going to do first is we're going to put this band on the wall. We'll remove the siding, which again I don't have shown, but there's lap siding on this wall, and that band, the you know, needs to be as wide as that point right there. So that's seven. Uh, I could probably get by with a two by eight. It's seven and three eighths. Okay, so I'm going to try to get by with a two by eight, which is seven and a quarter. I don't think the building inspector will give me a hard time as long as I've got um, uh, joist hangers there for the rafters. And I think I'm going to let this, let's see, come on out to here. Yeah, let's do that. Now, this thing will have a thickness. So we'll go down here and we'll pull this out inch and a half. You see how that affects my rafters? 1.5. Now see, if I was smart, I would have, you see, I should have drawn that first. You see how you start to detail things? Now my stinking rafter is a little bit uh, out of place. But what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and lower that band. What I'll do is, which is good because I want to get it away from these windows anyway. But what I want to do is I want to create a group out of that 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 band on the wall. So what I'm going to do, because I don't want it sticking, I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I just grab this right here, 
and I pull this out, well, I ain't going to, that's right, because I got the walls as a group. But anyway, the best way to do this if you're working in CAD is to keep things in groups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, and hopefully I've only selected that, and I'm just going to make that a group. Now, now I can just move that thing around. And what I can do is I can go down here and I don't, instead of changing my rafter, I can just move my band down to there, see? Now I will change my rafter, but all I have to do now, I don't have to change the pitch of my rafter. All I gotta do is cut it off. Just pretend I got my saw right here and I'm Hear the saw, saw noise. Yeah, they say that live doing things live makes you crazy. There we go. Oh no, my first, my first super chat. Isn't that cool? Thank you so much. <clears throat> hey Tony, I was thinking of putting down higher end click in vinyl hardwood in my bathroom. Whoa. What do you think? Now, I have I haven't done tile before. I would I tell you what I would just go and try to figure out how to do the tile. I would not uh, I would not put any. I'm an old timer, so I'm never going to advise anybody to put wood in a bathroom because I you know what's going to happen the first time you turn around that somebody's going to accidentally put something in the toilet. That's how we say toilet in Tennessee. Uh, somebody's gonna put something in the turret that don't belong there and it's gonna f overflow I'm gonna move that rafter over there now see now I got a nice pretty connection there and so what I would do is um, can you tell some horror stories yeah I will <laughs> I got plenty of those but uh, <laughs> I've been in construction for 40 years I could bore, I could put you to sleep with those. But as far as Ryan uh, DeBay, um, I I mean, you could, it, I know it's, I know it's vinyl hardwood. I know you're saying, I know it's synthetic, it's not wood, but, and I just realized you did say it was vinyl. And you could use vinyl, that click in place. I just think it, I just think it looks, don't take this the wrong way. I think it looks cheap. Okay, um, and I think because it looks like wood and it's not supposed to be in a wet location, even though it is vinyl, it makes it look cheap. So now, if say it's a rental house and you're just you just need something to get by and you just want to save money and maybe you just want to save money and it is your house where you're living now, I understand that. I want to copy this rafter. Probably. Uh, what is that? This is, you know how we figure out how many rafters we need. We got 16 feet. So that's going to be about, let's see. What you do is you go 16 times 0.75. So I got 12. That's what I was thinking. So I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to take this and in SketchUp, you can, uh, this, I got the, I got the selection tool in my hand. You select it at a point and then you slide it down in the direction you want it to go and then uh, you say 16 and then you say times 12 times 12 and there you go voila there's your rafters and probably what I would do in real life is I'd probably cheat and I would just space these evenly to where this one comes to here just just because Again, I just want it to look good, uh, look nice. And I know that's not going to change. Moving that an inch and spacing spacing these all out a sixteenth of an inch just to make the spacing right is not going to hurt the, the span, not going to kill anything. Okay, but it'll make it look neater. That It's either that or, I'll show you, put another rafter here. And the reason I'm saying this is because, you see how that looks kind of chunky? Right there with those two rafters on the end, like that. Um, now, if I was going to put a ceiling in here, like a solid ceiling, um, I might I might just do this, 
just to keep my layout. Um, but since this is so short, um, and I'm gonna and I'll show you why again. This is all kind of you know what I never did. I never checked my overhang. That's bad, isn't it? I just kind of drew it. Oh, it's 16. I might just leave it there. Um, I was gonna do 12 because I think the house has a 12 inch. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's 16. Yeah, it's 12 inches. I hate, I don't hate anything. I dislike, uh, um, I taught my kids not to use the word hate, but I don't hate uh, over uh, 12 inch overhangs. I just don't like them. I like big overhangs that protect, like here, see these little wimpy overhangs? I mean, the water drops off this and just falls right on the, I uh, wish I could take you outside right now to my house. It's raining here, and I have a dry spot all the way around my house because I have like 30-inch overhangs <laughs> when I built this house. But um, so, but yeah, no, Ryan, that's true. You know what you can do? Do y'all have like a like a southeastern salvage uh, or some kind of surplus store around, like a floor and decor or some kind of warehouse? Um, go and uh, buy yourself some you know dollar fifty two dollar square foot tile would even be better honestly any kind of ceramic or porcelain or slate you know you you can go we have a place here in chattanooga called southeastern salvage and um i don't know if that's a national chain or not but you can get tile uh for uh you can get a slate there for like two dollars a square foot and and then um you could actually put it down yourself it wouldn't wouldn't cost that much so anyway i better get busy on this it's going to, going to take me a minute to get it done so what i would do next is since this house only has a i can't decide i guess i don't like this but i'm going to do it anyway i'm going to let this band here stick out 12 inches because he wants it to hang over 12 inches I don't like the way that looks and then I'll just copy this rafter out here and I'll show you how that I sh I'll show you how that'll be supported here in a minute um, but I need to finish my rafters on a cross there any other questions horror stories um well, I had this, uh, we had a renovation job one time that um, um, we had to tear a whole roof off on. And let's see if I'm going to have to raise this beam up. I just realized that this beam has to be raised up. Let me draw, let me draw myself a line here. Let's see. Let me just do this. I'm going to come over here. Where I'm against that. Is that right? Yeah. And then I'm going to raise this up to where it's at least into this rafter, probably two inches, because I need a bird's mouth. Uh, maybe not that far. Yeah, well, let me lower it down a half inch. So. Cause I need a bird's mouth on that that rafter. The rafter is coming across here, so I'm going to move this up. Anyway, we had a um, a renovation job where we had to tear the whole roof off, and I told the guys to watch the weather. You know, don't tear the roof off if we're going to have a storm. Well, we had a storm. If you hear a puppy. Crying. That's Daisy. She's upstairs with Alex. Alex is out of school today. He had exams. Um, you didn't know this was going to be Tony rambling, did you? Uh, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is to keep my layout, and this may be the best reason to leave those rafters the way they are. I would this rafter layout would just keep going. So I would I would copy this over 16 inches. And again, I'll show you why I'm going to do that because, you know, when I start putting two the two before purlins on top of this, um, 
I'll, I'm going to need that layout to be where my two by fours will break. So what I'll do is I'll come here and can I get me a line here? No. Uh, let's see. I need me a vertical line right there. And I need to come out this way, 16, like that. There we go. So now, see, I can just alter this. Now I can, if I was smart. Uh, you can make these things, <clears throat> excuse me, checking uh, check the comments here, sorry, Toby, I can, um, I can definitely, definitely uh, make this just on, on a small job like this, it doesn't hurt to do what I'm doing, and that is make these just groups, but if I was on, if I was doing a big house and I had a bunch of different kinds of rafters, I would probably uh, make these components. I don't know if you noticed what I just did. I just drew a line on this where the end of the rafter was going to be, and I took my push-pull tool, and this is what's cool about uh, SketchUp. Take your push-pull tool, and I could either pull it and make it a big rafter tail <laughs> or a rafter, or I can push it back over to this face, and it deletes it like that. So I just created, now I got the garbage truck outside making noise. So that'll be my rafter. And then, um, now I can copy this over uh, 16. And let's just do it times six. See what happens. Aha, it's close, wasn't I? Well, it was close, look. What I might do is, well, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna treat this condition right here. Um, probably, probably just gonna move this over. The other thing in SketchUp too is you can, I don't know if you can see this or not, but you can, it's kind of intuitive. Like I can drag this sideways and it'll kind of stay on that plane. So if I push the shift key though, it'll lock doing that and I can come down here and I can just select some kind of other object to line it up with. So right now I'm just lining it up with the beam, just like that. And then I'm gonna go copy one and bring it out to the end where he wants the overhang uh, to be. So you can see, now we'll have a rafter at the end of the beam, what I would consider like a house line rafter uh, and one hanging over to make a little overhang. So there's our rafter. So now I know how many rafters I'm gonna have. See if there's any questions. No questions. Y'all are getting bored already. So this is kind of boring. I just thought I would try this uh, to see if it's fun or not. So what I would, what I'm going to do now is the next step is we're going to have a metal roof on this thing. You see, that's why it's going to be open uh, underneath. They want to be able to see the structure and see the purlins and see the roof. So what I would do next is I'm going to draw myself a two by four. I'm gonna draw it over here and I'm gonna bring it up here. So that's, where is my, which direction is it? Three and a half by 17 and a half. 3.5 by 17.5. That sounds like my wife is home. Quick, hide the girlfriend. <laughs> so, I'm gonna now. I'm gonna make a group out of um, this two before, and the way I do that is kind of turn this around where I can't see anything but the two before. And as long as I'm, you see, since these are groups now, since these individual rafters are groups, I can as long as I don't select all of them, I can select just that geometry and make it a group. And now I've got it made because now all I gotta do is once I edit this and I. Pull this end out to here. 
okay and I turn this around and I know some people get dizzy looking at this because you're not in control if you're not in control of the mouse all this spinning around makes you dizzy but um, sorry I have to spin it around to be able to push pull <laughs> so you see now now that I have my first two before cross which is my in this in this context we would call these purlins for the middle roof now let's go down oh uh, <laughs> insane drummer <laughs> hey Barrett Barrett's I thought I, I saw that note I, just, I didn't see your name and it said this guy knows his stuff and I was like wow that's a nice guy it's Barrett Barrett's trolling me man Barrett's at the studio I bet getting ready to make money so anyway, it's cool. I'm just not knowledgeable about this stuff, so I'm not sure what I would ask. Yeah. You know, on the tile, you know a bad a bad tile job, John, looks better than a good vinyl flooring job. That's a rule. <laughs> so, even if you try uh even if you try the tile job yourself, hey Brandon X Taylor even if you try the tile job yourself and it's really easy, after you watch three or four videos, you'd be an expert on tile work. <laughs> Even if you just screwed it up a little, it would still look better than the vinyl product that you were talking about. I've seen both of them, and I've actually, we've, uh, we've kind of installed a, 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 part, uh, a similar project, uh, product. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna move this up 24 inches and then I'm gonna guess that we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A security risk. What in the world? Been hacked, man. I'm just gonna copy him at copy it up times six. For now, you see how easy that is? Once you get one drawn, we um you can copy them up at two foot on center. So now I know I need probably a couple more, so I'm just going to grab this one and I'm going to copy it from here to here. And then I think I can probably get by with just one up here. Like that. I don't know. That's a long span. I don't want to be like April Wilkerson and have my roofing go <laughs> flying off. That's, a, that's kind of an inside story. But... Uh, <laughs> So anyway, you can see there now. Now we now this is why you'll want to make sure your rafters are on a layout. Is anybody? Hey, Tony Jr. Oh, you're talking to Barrett. Yeah, family trolls are awesome. <laughs> uh, so this is why you want to make sure your uh, rafters are on a layout now, uh, because. You know they come 12 16 feet long well your rafters need to be on 16 inch centers or two foot centers or whatever it is of course I don't roll like uh, I don't I don't do the <laughs> the 24 inch centers I think that's too far apart um, just doesn't look good but he can see here now this two before I've got a decision to make here do I start I really I think in this case it might not look too bad just to continue this one on out like that of course obviously that's not one big one long two before but it would be you know broken somewhere and then what I would do is one two three four five I'm gonna delete these I should have thought about this but this is easy to do you see I'm going to delete those and I'm going to copy this one up 20, uh, 24 inches or yeah 24 times 5 now see I just and then what I'll do is I'll bring this one over like this so there you go there's all your purlins except for right here I'm gonna have to have one right on the end and I think what I'll do here is just copy a short one 
from over here like this and I don't know it didn't fit perfectly but I'll, I'll work it out when we get out there I'll have Barrett rip it down <laughs> I'll have Insane Drummer rip it down with the saw that's what you get for trolling me I'll make you do work hard labor <laughs> So that's, I don't really like that necessarily. I may, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I might ask the owner if they'd rather see this. See, this is why you gotta plan all this stuff out. It's so important. Even if you're drawing, even if you just draw it on paper, it's better. There's, John has a question. Oh, I have a question, brain fart. Can you auto adjust the space between the group? So you don't have to move each one individually. Well, what I did was uh, you you do it with the copy command, okay? So, like, if I deleted all these, one, two, three, four, five, okay? Delete those. So what I'm going to do is go down here and select this one, okay? And I'm going to select my copy. Move. It's also move copy. You know that general tool I'm gonna grab it right there I'm gonna push the control key and now I'm gonna move it up 24 inches and you can watch down here kind of in the middle of the screen you'll see the numbers as I type them in okay so now as long as I don't type anything else in I'm just scrolling around I can hit the star key watch down there at the bottom it says distance times five and you see so uh, the the thing that controlled the distance was the first move I made if I said go 12 inches and then I said times five it would have spaced them uh, all the same you know whatever I put there I don't know if that answers the question or not so let me go back so there we go this is basic a basic structure and um, like on this end rafter here, what I would do here is just, I wouldn't cut the bird's mouth out on this one to make it, just make it look neater. This is the other, the, this is the reason this is a push pull tool is because now I can bring that back over to there and then I can just delete these lines. And um, it'll kind of heal itself. See, and delete these under here. That's being kind of anal, but whatever, I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, so you can see now that end rafter, that barge rafter, we would call it, the one that hangs out on the end, won't have a notch in it. And look, there's a, see how anal I am? I'm gonna go in here and delete those, <laughs> those pencil marks off that rafter. So that'll make a nice, neat little rafter on the end so you can see that's our structure we got all of our rafters and now I know exactly how many rafters I need and that's why I'm doing this they told me to go ahead so I'm going to figure the material uh, so now I know how many rafters and these beams are going to be 6 by 12 um, made that re-entry simple yeah and the the thing about it is like these posts are not here right now uh they're just short they're they're just a there's just a handrail around here so what we're gonna have to do is take out the post we're gonna have to add these posts to hold up the beam the other thing we have to do is dig down uh to make sure that they've got uh, proper footings under these posts this is about how far it is off the ground it's not very far it's actually pretty easy so now where would I get a piece of metal roofing hmm uh, <laughs> uh, I wonder if it's the same pitch it's not the same pitch but uh, I don't know if it's worth it takes a little time how many, how many minutes have I been going here uh, where do you find that part? Uh, 
Oh, well, doesn't really matter. Wasting time just talking about it, aren't I? Um, I was thinking about going and getting a piece of metal roofing uh, just to show you what that would look like. But that's going to take a little time. Uh, but I, let me just see if I can whip it out right quick. Pardon the pun. Let's see. 3D Warehouse. On SketchUp, it's kind of cool because there is this thing called 3D Warehouse and it's tied to the interwebs and people make models you know of objects and um, what is this uh, new feature announcement we recently launched new features that allow you to browse and download and model materials components. well you've always been able to do that what's the big deal anyway so I would type in metal roof and see all these different um, styles, like, but I'd probably want to use one that was from a reputable company just because I've had trouble with blocks that people have drawn before that turn out to be weird. The dimensions on them turn out to be weird. So I'm not sure exactly what kind of metal roofing. Tony's grilling today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, Tony, what time are you going to start grilling? Oh, that's funny. I wish, uh, I wish, uh, this green roof is funny. What is that? I'd like to get that standing seam. I don't want a standing seam roof. We're going to use a screw down roof. Um, on this application, on a porch, you know, you, you'd really want to use uh, something simple and, and not as expensive. I think just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use uh, what I used on my house was this, yeah, this metal right here. So I'm going to download it into my drawing, yes, and you see uh, all it is is like a sample of the of the metal and then what you would have to do is you'd have to rotate it <clears throat> this is why it might take a little time um, you, you have to kind of rotate it uh, to get it and it's not as easy as it sounds because it's, it's it's not like a thick material that you can grab something but we will try our best here let's see let's put the you can see I don't know if they gave it a thickness or not did they give it a thickness? Yeah. If they gave it a thickness, then I'll grab that little point right there, and I'll put that little corner right there on our 2 before, and then, but you see, that's what I mean. Some people will draw things, and they won't give it a thickness. Uh, and I'll, I'll, how do I explain that? They, then, it, what it does is it won't cover up anything that you put it over. <laughs> so, um, so now what I can do is, I can grab that point right there. Let's see, am I going the right way? And then I can grab the underside of it, and then I can bring it down to the two before like that. Does that make sense? I just pick this point right here as the to rotate it, and then I pick the underside of the roofing, and then I just brought it down to the top of the two before, which was already at the right slope see but see this is what I mean some of these products are weird because like now I can see the um, uh, the purlins through there so what I'll have to do sometimes is actually literally raise it up a little like it wouldn't be in real life like I might have to raise it up like that and so that it hides it see well you can still kind of barely see it but anyway Quit being anal, Tony. So now what I would do is I would edit this piece of roofing. I'll grab all the end, all the end uh, geometry. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I would find, <coughs> oh, swallow the bug. I would find like the bottom edge of that raptor, and I would just pull it up. <coughs> Excuse me.
Yeah, I had to I had to meet the. I must have. Uh, I think the, I must have swallowed a bug or something. <coughs> anyway, sorry about that. So I'm just picking a reference point, which is the bottom of the rafter, and I'm just going to run it up here to where it kind of touches the house, like that. But see, what's funny is you can still see. Uh, depending on how you look at it, what angle. You can still see the shadowing. Uh, this is one thing I don't like about SketchUp. And there are different kinds of views you can use. There are different kinds of styles. Let's see. You can use to get to, to, to control that. But, uh, you know, I don't like them. <laughs> the only one I like is really the the one I'm using, I think, is engineering or construction documents. But uh, anyway, so I'm still trying to get the bug out of my throat. <clears throat> so now what I would do is I'd copy it. Let me get out of this where I'm editing the roof panel. Well, first I need to move it over a little bit to where it's that edge is pretty much lined up like that. And then I know what I can do is I can measure, I can measure, well shoot, I can measure from this hump, my hump, my hump, my hump. I can measure from this hump to this hump, it should be about 36 inches, yeah. This stuff is supposed to cover 36 inches so it's wider. <clears throat> so Jackson says, hey Tony, what's a good cheap fishing bait? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Worms? <laughs> cheap fishing bait? Is it, did I read that right? <clears throat> fishing bait. Yeah, I guess worms, crickets. I don't know. We used to just go out in the backyard and dig them up. We didn't go buy anything. So um, I'm going to copy this over 36 inches, and I'm going to guess, let's see, two, three, four, five, let's do times five and see what it does, what gets us like that. So, and I'm going to have to go in and... You can see if I if I hold it at this angle, did I get the right lap on there? Yeah, that's right. But because this roofing panel doesn't have enough thickness to it, it's, uh, and it, of course it's not that thick in real life, but because uh, the way SketchUp works, you can still see through the roofing, the purlins behind it, and it bugs the junk out of me, uh, but I just have to live with it. So here you can see this panel will be uh, to, you know, it'll have to be altered. Or the smartest thing to do, and again, this is why you want to plan this stuff out, might be just to uh, cut the first piece. Um, let's see how many inches we'd have to move it back over. So that you didn't have to uh, have a cut. Um, well, it's not going to matter either way. So I'm going to. I need. I need one, two, three, four. I need like four more pieces, and that's really why I'm doing this. It's just to um, thirty-six times four. I uh, didn't need that one, did I? But. As you can see, too, uh, I didn't really need to do that. What I should have done was copied one and then altered this one. And so, I wanna, but what I need to do first is I know this is a component. And the difference between a component and a group is that um, Jackson claimed, what in the world? What's a, what are you saying, Barrett? Claim your what? Are y'all speaking... Are y'all speaking millennial in the in the chat? I have no idea what you're talking about. 
So this is a, a component, okay? So if I edit this, I'll show you. If I said, oh, I'm just gonna change this one panel, watch all of them move, okay? I don't want that. I wanna create a unique component because I knew these, if I downloaded them, uh, they were gonna be components, which means they have other attributes. It's a long story, but anyway, just trust me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna say make unique, unique. And then I'm gonna edit this one panel and I'm gonna make it go up here. Like this, like this. And I'm gonna move it back. Where's that two before? Oh. I'm gonna let it hang over about an inch like that now that I have that component for this I can just copy it over twice thirty six times two and I've got you know a few sheets there and I'll have to go back and alter obviously I gotta go back and cut this off this one will be hard <clears throat> I'll do that in a minute. But you can kind of see now, instead of instead of me making a materials list from this, <laughs> just this solid mass that I did just to show them what it might look like, now I can get take my pad, my pencil and paper, and I can literally just count the number of pieces. I can count the number of rafter hangers, you know, rafter ties that I need, uh, how many bolts, I got to lag bolt this thing, this band here into the studs, every other stud or so. So, uh, you know, it all starts to, you know, I got to put a gutter out here. I'll probably put a fascia board on this just to make it look better. And that'll give me something, uh, well, I don't need, I won't attach the gutter to the fascia board, but It'll, it'll be attached to the rafters through the fascia board, but it'll still make it look better. As a matter of fact, I could just go ahead and do that. Uh, uh, or I can do it later. I don't know how much time I'm gonna let this run out here. Hey, Tony, what's a good ice cream to put on pie? Are you being a smart aleck? <clears throat> I think Jackson's uh, just just trying to be uh, silly. As long as you don't get, hey Tony, it's true some chicks have. <laughs> All right, okay. Put this user in timeout. I like that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize that was an option. All right, we're here to learn construction, not talk about girl anatomy, okay? So this is a family friendly channel. So you can see here now, I've got, now I can go in here literally, uh, because I, all these dimensions are real, right? right? Like I measured this deck that was there and it's 16 feet, four inches. So now I know that my rafters are going to be, it says 17.9, uh, I probably get 18 footers. No, I will get 18 footers. I might even get 20 footers. Um, and what I would do too is I would check my span tables. I uh, think I'm okay uh, at uh, two by eights, but if I if I check my span tables and my pitch is too low, let me see what my pitch is. The way the simple way to check your pitch is just come out here and draw yourself a line, twelve inches. But where am I? That's the only thing about it. you gotta be careful and sketch up where your where your reference is. Okay, I did it on the back side. Let's just delete that. Make it keep it simple. Let's do that here where we can see it. Oh. Draw yourself a line of twelve inches and then go up <coughs> and that is a two, it says inch and seven eighths pitch. So yeah, 
I'm gonna have to go, and that's I remember now. I'm gonna end up I'm gonna end up making it a 212. Uh, and what I, and the way I'll do that is I'll just lower this beam a little bit, not too much. But again, this is why you want to draw this stuff out, and plan it out ahead of time. Even if it's on paper to scale, just make sure whatever you're doing is to scale, so you can go back and get some true measurements off of it. But I, I'll probably have to use a two by ten uh, for these rafters because at a low pitch like that, you know, you're gonna have more of a vertical load uh, in the middle. You can imagine, well, just take these rafters. You know, the more the the more vertical a rafter gets, the more vertical the load. You see, and the more horizontal the load gets, the more horizontal the load is you know in the middle or whatever stretched out evenly over its length so on low pitch rafters like this um, you need to check the span tables for southern pine we're going to be using uh, I don't know we may be using like uh, rough saw lumber for this so I would have to use probably a 2 by 10 at least but anyway I would figure that out and I would just count them one two three four five and um, I would I would allow for waste I would allow for somebody to screw up you know a rafter here and a rafter there um, so I'd probably allow about five percent waste uh, you, you know when you have uh, rafters delivered sometimes you'll have knots where you don't want them or checks or cracks you know uh, so you don't want to have to drive back just to you know the lumber store just for that and so am I on, I'm looking for the chat again not much there um, so anyway I just thought I would take you through kind of the steps of um, doing this how I would uh, uh, detail it uh, now um, it, ju it just made me realize this end these ends may get closed in. They may see this. I'm doing this beam coming back here to tie this back uh, to the house to have some wind bracing. And uh, but they may want me to close, you know, close and close that with siding. If that's the case, it's it's easy to figure now that I have this drawn in SketchUp. And so I'm trying to think of any other structural elements we might have to have, but I think we would be fine. Uh, I don't know, in this case, since this is a porch, I think the building inspector would let me get by with just that. Uh, the worst case, if you had a hard, you know, uh, rear end uh, building inspector, he might want you to come in here and put some sort of collar tie which is a horizontal member, but you see the pitch is so low, uh, those, that's not gonna add that much uh, to it. As long as my rafters are sized properly, I should be okay. So there you go. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do, and not in this one, but you see I kinda draw these uh, steps kind of just, I just, you know they're graphic or they're just masked out objects they're not real obviously the steps so the next thing I would do is figure out exactly where the steps uh, land and what the elevation of that is and I would measure that height and divide that and keep the risers what I've got them at now is seven inches so I may have um, um, Hey Tony. So um, I may have already. I think we probably measured that height already uh, from here uh, to there. I've got uh, four foot one, four foot two, something like that. Okay, all right. Bye bye. Sorry, I tried to give you a chance. Some people just can't be nice.
So if there's any other questions uh, from the people watching, I can answer those. I'm watching the chat now. If there's anything else, like somebody has a question, um, it's getting to be, where's my time here? I don't see the, oh, is it already an hour? Good Lord, that went by fast. Uh, so probably should cut it off here. And uh, if I do another one, it would be like uh, detailing maybe the steps or something like that. But this will turn into a video, so I don't want it to be crazy long. And uh, unless there's uh, any other questions, I'll just uh, cut it off here. I'll give it a, a few seconds here in case somebody comes up with a question. But one thing I might try to do is see if I give this like a different, um, like I can take my paint bucket and I, if I come up with say maybe a different color gray, if that'll help. make this uh, cover up better. Let's try this. Uh, that doesn't help any, does it? Doesn't really help, does it? That's kind of frustrating. Because it's kind of the whole point. You can kind of get it to you know where you can't see through it uh well that's frustrating to me i mean if you can't see through it here i shouldn't be able to see through it back here you know i could play around with the different styles to see like that's wireframe that's ridiculous that's another one that's urban planning style shaded hidden lines that that shows the <clears throat> that shows the purlins as dash lines because they're behind those are it's called hidden line style default style I like this um, where was the construction oh it's up here I like the construction document style it's simple but you see you can still see through it it's there's probably a way uh, you know you go in here and you edit um, probably the opacity somehow. Face settings. Uh, and here you can say display and shaded, display and hidden. What's that? Hidden line mode, shaded. The same. What's this X ray? See, transparency. Uh, I don't know. You see, it's not supposed to be the way it's set. You're not supposed to be able to see through this, but you can unless you get it at the right angle. Anyway, enough rambling on that. Enough complaining. I was really hoping that Google or the who owns SketchUp now, they sold it to Trimble. I think the company's name anyway complain to them maybe they'll fix that where you don't see because really if I was wanting to show the customer there's an awful lot of lines there you know if I just want to say hey look what it looks like with the roofing on there you see now I've got to get it at some weird angle and say no you really can't see those purlins through there anyway I think I think I've done this before where I've had to if I selected all the roof panels which I need to do anyway. Do this. Uh-oh, I think I grabbed a rafter. Yeah, I grabbed a rafter. Need to make sure. Dang it. Let's do this. Let's go over here and get between. Play a trick on it. I'm gonna grab all those. I grab a rafter. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Tricked you, didn't I? I'm going to now make this a group. 
Now I'm gonna see how far I have to raise it up to keep from being able to see. What I'm gonna do is raise it up vertically like an inch. See, I shouldn't have to do that. See, now you can't see the purlins through it. So that's what I would have to do if I was gonna show a customer, you know, still a lot of lines, but it's not as many. You know, it looks like a metal roof now. Maybe go to Texas. It would be nice to be able to throw a switch on the actual house to put it on and see through when you're tracing pipes or wires. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be good. Maybe in the future that'll be something. <laughs> but um So here, what I'm going to do next is I will start to make my material list, and that may be kind of boring uh, for people. So I may just cut it here unless there are any other questions. I've been going a little over an hour, and um, it's probably getting a little bit long. So I do appreciate people watching, and um, thanks a bunch. Now I gotta just figure out how to end it. <laughs>